Hi, I'm Dr. Herman Gomez and I'm in Valencia, Spain. And today I want to talk to you about the four different types of patients. Everybody of you knows these type of patients. I just want to highlight them up uh, a little bit, um, their features, and uh, show you what type of patients you want for your office at the end. Okay, let's start. The first type of patients I call cheap patients. They are not really cheap, but um, you will understand me in a second why I call them cheap patients. They are always uh, asking uh, about your price. How much do you charge? What is your best price? They are always bargaining. They are trying to lower your price. They are always uh, telling that uh, they can, can get the same treatment somewhere else for less money. Okay. Uh, they don't really appreciate what you offer, they don't appreciate you, they don't appreciate your um, preparation, your education, and your service at all. Okay, What they want is cheap price. They, um, they buy based on price. Okay, The second um, type of patients, uh, I call them difficult patients. Okay? Difficult patients are not necessarily cheap. But what they have, uh, they are negative persons. They have a bad day and they try to make your day worse, even. Okay? Um, they ask a lot of unlogic questions. It's not bad that the patient asks questions, okay? But they should have a logic, they should be um, uh, connected to the topic, to your treatment, but not like very unlogic questions. You, everybody knows these type of patients. Um, they are not pleasant people. They have negative energy. Okay, that's a difficult type of patients. Okay, they are very demanding, um, and it's really not worth the time you invest um, for the treatment that you do. After this uh, difficult patients, I call the next type of patients uh, sophisticated patients. Okay, these sophisticated patients they have money. They are educated, they know what they are buying, um, they have done research and they appreciate education. That means they are asked a lot of questions, but these questions are logic. And they appreciate you to educate them. The difficult patient already knows everything, okay, in his mind, of course. I, I like to ask these difficult patients, oh, yes, um, in what university did you study dentistry? And usually they say, oh, I didn't study dentistry. And then I say, okay, well, I studied dentistry. Let me explain to you um, how this is going. But they do not appreciate that. Sophisticated patients, they appreciate that. And of course, I do not talk to them like that. Okay. Um, they need time to make a decision. Okay. So be patient with these patients because at the end of the day, they appreciate that you invest the time to educate them and uh, to um, explain to them the procedures, the alternatives, and the pros and contras. And they ask a lot of questions, but logical and intelligent questions. Okay, this is uh, this is the type of uh, uh, sophisticated patients. Good. The last type of patients are the affluent patients. Affluent patients, um, they have money also, of course. And they buy based on feelings. It should feel right, okay? They don't need a deal. They, they don't ask for, uh, can you make me 20% discount? Can you um, give me two for one? Um, all these things, no. They don't need that. What they want is other things. They want it to feel good. They want their decision to feel good. So you have to do everything you can to um, uh, make them feel good in your office, okay? So that their decision made in your office feels good to them. If it is cheap for them, something might be wrong with it. They love exclusivity. Also one thing that you have to have in mind, these patients love exclusivity. It's not for everyone, that's for me. That is the type of patient of the affluent patient, okay? Or fluent patient. Now, you want to sell and treat to the right side sophisticated patients and affluent patients. You do not want to 
treat and uh, the, the left side cheap and difficult patients okay so what do you do you treat them better if you identify a patient that is sophisticated or affluent so you treat him better better than the other patients you stay more in touch with them you send them more newsletters maybe twice three times a year to all of them four five or six times a year to the sophisticated and affluent patients you push referrals from their side so you ask them for referrals because affluent and sophisticated patients might know other people who are all, all also affluent and sophisticated you design your ads you choose your language to attract them okay. you become comfortable with their needs uh, try to um, subscribe to for example um, rub report okay rub report is for very very affluent uh, people and uh, they use certain language in their advertisement they use certain um, language in their uh, articles and uh, you get just um, very very uh, used to what um, affluent and, and, and sophisticated people um, have as interests okay and you can cater to that later um, don't make any discounts to the left side if they want to be treated by you they will pay your price do not make any discounts so thank you very much i hope this was helpful for you and um, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this um, click on the bell to turn on notifications and like this video please and comment below if you have any questions about any video that you want me to do thank you so much bye